Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you how to look at skewness and kurtosis using values instead of using a histogram or a PP plot. So notice I'm in the output window, but in this case I can show you that you can actually run the analysis also from your output window. You don't have to go to the data window. So we can go here to analyze, we're going to go to descriptives, we're going to go to frequencies, and I'm going to move day one into the variables box. And if I click on statistics over here, I can do means, I can do median, you can do all of your variables that you want. So we can do maybe standard deviation. And notice here I can do skewness and kurtosis because this is going to give us some values that are going to determine whether or not our data are normally distributed. Click continue, you can click on charts, you can even do a histogram if you so desire from here, and you can put the normal curve. So once we click OK, all right, you're going to get a frequency table, and this frequency table is going to tell you how much each score occurred. So 0 0.01 occurred once. All right, so this is a pretty long table. Sometimes I don't always put this table in here. But here's what we're interested in. We've got skewness and we've got kurtosis values, and I will talk a little bit about those um, in the presentation.